I have had two different Mind Strike texture packs put out. Uh, the first one, which was introducing the dragon lore, and uh, the first time I tried to put uh, actual skins on guns inside Mind Strike. And the second one was just today, when I added the Hyper Beast and the other dragon lore. And one thing I noticed is that after the release of both of these, I've gotten several people uh, in comments and in game asking me and telling me about certain problems that they've had whether it was with downloading it or with using it on mind strike or with them being kicked a bunch of different things so i'm just here in this video to address those issues as quickly as i possibly can and uh yeah let's get into it as you can see we've just downloaded the scrub lords lord pack and what you want to do next is open up minecraft and it's actually it's probably going to be on the home page unless you have some interesting computer that for some reason opens it to options uh so you're going to want to open up options yourself go to resource packs and then open the resource pack folder. Now this is when things start to get a little bit different because I am using a Mac and for some reason, whenever you compress a file on a Mac and send it to a Windows, instead of it just sending the file uh, as it is, it tends to put it inside of a folder like this. So let me open it up. It'll put the pack inside of a folder like this and then a lot of people will just drag this folder into their resource packs folder, which of course is not gonna work. So what you gotta do is once you get the file, you gotta decompress it, you gotta open it, you gotta look for something that's titled exactly Scrub Lord's Lore Pack and it should have these things directly inside of it. This, uh, this beautiful golden red sticker as you can see there, you gotta have that. And then once you locate it, you wanna drag this, you don't have to compress it, you don't have to have it zipped or anything, just take it and drag it in here. You should see that it's there now and we can now go and equip it. Once again, make sure that you're dragging the right folder inside. It'll most likely be inside of the first folder you get. If you want to double check, you should click on it and you should be able to see the pack PNG, the MC meta and assets inside showing, you know, this exact lineup. Now that we have the Mindstrike texture pack on top of our selected resource packs list, we're going to jump right into a game of Mindstrike. And I'm just going to wait and download the server resource pack. Oh, that was pretty quick, actually. Not usually that quick. So now once I'm inside the Mindstark lobby and I'm bouncing and I'm happy and I'm excited, right? I'm stoked. I have the server resource pack. I'm ready to go. But as you may notice, if we're actually in the game, it's not going to show any custom guns. It's because we have to stand still. Make sure you're not jumping in the air. This is a uh, mistake. If you're floating in the air at any point in time for too long in Mindplex, it will kick you. And so you want to be standing still. Do slash RP off. I'll click enter and wait for about 15 to 20 seconds is usually how long it takes for my computer uh, in particular. It's definitely different for in different computers. You'll see in chat, it'll say resource pack has been disabled, type slash RP on to bring it back or to enable it. And so that means once the Mindstrike game starts, you will have the textures shown. You can also do this while in the middle of a Mindstrike game, as long as just make sure you're standing still because if you're like, you know, if you activate it while you're in midair somehow or something like that, you could be floating for too long and it'll kick you. So I just recommend standing still to do slash RP off and uh, then yeah, it'll, you'll be good to go. A few other people have told me about an issue where they would join Mindplex, I mean, sorry, Mindstrike and then immediately get kicked uh, and it would say something in chat about not being able to download the resource pack or something. In order to fix it, you have to disconnect from Mindplex. Once you've disconnected, you want to go to multiplayer, highlight Mindplex, don't join it, click edit, uh, go into this little edit area and make sure the server resource pack is set to prompt. There's enabled, disabled, and prompt, and it may be on disabled, in which case it'll just kick you every time. So make sure it is on uh, prompt and you should not have any more issues with that. But yeah, I certainly hope this helped you out if you're having problems. If there are any more problems that come up, please let me know them. And if you have other solutions to certain problems, let me know them as well. So if I have to make an update video, I can, I'd appreciate it very much. And uh, you have a wonderful day.